Hi, uh, this break was shorter than I expected, but um, here I am. The two hearts was a total uh, zero, and actually, believe it or not, a 50% round is already a problem for me, because I had a decent run up to a certain point. Of course 57 is a decent uh, result as well. Um, especially in the sense that, um, that I can build up on this. So I, I could still end up with something like 65 or 67 uh, if I really start um, scoring big. Um, I mean this is like Mathematical sophistry, of course, 57. You could also think that it's a good cushion. Uh, I still have this 7% I can lose to no Trump. I guess it's just um, it's just invitational for 3 no Trump, and I'm gonna pass it. I hope it's not um, support, but I wouldn't really assume it is. Um, We'll see. I definitely don't have any inclination of playing um, to play uh, in clubs here or anything. So, if my partner has his doubles up in diamonds and points everywhere, and probably two no Trump should be a decent place. The double stop isn't exactly there, but I mean he did have 13 points. It's not as easy hand to the bid. I would, of course, like double is probably better than to no Trump to show your spades, and I would have gotten some trouble there. I would have bid two spades, I think, um, offering a 4-3. Of course, my partner does not knowing that it's a 4-3. But um, there you go. Um, yeah, holding up here is probably a good idea, just in case. Just just to get some idea about the hand. Um, on the other hand, of course, um, there's the ace of spades. So probably east has the ace of spades. So it doesn't really matter if you hold up or not. Um, Okay, apparently Wacko Jack has six diamonds. And um, we have four tricks, sorry, five tricks, three hearts, and two aces. But we have some chance. So if hearts break, then that's a good thing. Um, if they're distributed evenly, let's say. And let's see now the Jack of Hearts. Hearts needs to fall. Wacko already. Okay, so we have a problem. Well, I guess you need to try the club finesse now, for better or worse. And um, it's also offside. Of course, exiting a heart was an option, but. Uh, um, that would have given us um, some more tricks, I think, because uh, this way, well, I mean, I don't know how many tricks we're going to take. Ah, okay, so B2 or just plays it very safely, it just plays back a club. And um, I think these are our last two tricks. There's really no realistic chance of us getting more. I mean, at this point, Michael Jack has a high heart and three low and three high diamonds. I think. Sorry, a high heart, a high spade, and two low diamonds. Uh, two high diamonds. Uh, they're by definition high because they are the last ones. Uh, why didn't you cash the ace of clubs? 
Uh, is there like some um, mysteries of the universe? But um, there you go. So apparently, some people went down four. So we have a provisional top. I think it's gonna stick, but I don't know. So if I bit two spades, then we'll probably end up in four spades. Um, which I don't know how it would have finished. Uh, also in tiers, but probably not as many tiers as now. Mm. Spades do break 3-3, uh, three, three, and we do get a fair amount of tricks, actually. One spade. Um, it's one of these disgusting hands that I will probably just give a normal fit, like two spades. Like maybe it sounds weird, but it's not strong enough for four spades. Like I don't. I want to have one feature for partner when I bid four spades. That was a decent agreement, actually. Of course, you could say that the singleton is a feature, but I, I usually want to have let's say the ace of spades instead of all this crap. So I would bid four spades probably if uh, I had j the same exact distribution with no high card points other than the ace of spades. Like this, I feel like it's a bit of this nothing hand. Like I would bid like um, some kind of um, Bergen raise if we played that, like the weaker Bergen raise. Showing a four card spade support and six to six to nine or six to eight. I don't know. Uh, four hearts. Then I I am unfortunately obliged to bid four spades. Uh, found a good a good spot. Not much I can do about that. I need to compete. Uh, there's really no way I'm gonna pass here with five card support. It seems suicidal. And interestingly, this hand is still being played. Okay, so actually this is, I think, uh, what, 16? Um, no, 66%, yeah. So, I don't know. Okay, so they bid 5 over 4. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna um, do the normal thing. And they definitely have. Wow, okay, look at that. Uh, wow. It's kind of like a passive lead leading our 5-5 five, five fit. And hopefully we don't get in trouble. Of course my partner doesn't know how many spades I have, but probably he suspects at this point that I do have lots of spades, because I clearly don't have many points. Uh, we said Utka, so this is probably encouraging already, but Okay, so he eliminated he eliminated all spades. Now, okay, so apparently they're making six. If Wacko is saying this, hmm. Twelve tricks. There you go. And what's going on here? If 
five hearts. Other tables. Apparently it's gonna be flat. And this was sixty-six percent. And I'm getting my charger. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm, I don't go anywhere, I'm here. Um, is it charging? Yes, it is. And I'm at 57.14. And I have some clubs and some hearts. Could be potentially interesting. I mean, if he if he opens one spade, I will bid two clubs probably. I don't know, or three clubs. I mean, I'm open to the idea. One on Trump. Um, I can try three clubs. Let's see what happens. I need to, you know, I need to mix it up a bit. Like, I'm not gonna get rich. Just by putting green cards on the table and doing nothing um, I don't know maybe I managed to preempt them out of some kind of a spade contract not game though like if they have game South wouldn't really leave it at that so DJ RJ is doubling. That's. I wonder why, but. I don't know. I don't really have anywhere to hide. Um, it's obviously a slightly strange place to double, but. I mean, uh, normally it would be um, double um, from south being a kind of a take out double or points double showing ownership of the hand as the experts would say and sometimes of course uh, opener would pass it but like this he has no idea how the points are distributed but okay so I didn't preempt them from any spade contract um, whether or not that's a good thing I don't know uh, eight. So sixteen points. This this is probably um, suit preference from my side. And he led the eight, no the nine. Okay. So it could be a singleton or a doubleton. I don't need this rough. On the other hand, maybe I need to play a diamond at some point. So I guess we're out of spades now. I can just relieve the pressure of my partner by by playing a diamond now. I could have played it one round earlier. But he just plays the ace, that means that we have nothing to do there. And uh, by now... My partner doesn't know that I'm out of uh, spades. Declare could have had four. Um, where am I? What's going on? Port 15.
all my bars are intact or connection quality very poor yep okay control R sorry everyone this is bad TV but Login. It just boils down to the hearts, and I guess we can take one heart, right? Um, so Linux has uh, some connection issues, I don't know, in Windows this is, isn't really a problem, I don't know why, don't take me for a Windows fanboy, but it just happens to be the case in this case. Um. Doesn't want to claim, but okay, so we don't claim. One, just like two more tricks. Okay. So there you go. I wonder if I kept them out of game. Like it could have gone one no trump, two hearts, three spades, four spades. Apparently this was slightly better for us, sixty six percent. Now I have to decide whether or not I want to force the game. But I mean why not? This hand will be easier to to uh, describe. If I start bidding my suits right now, two diamonds. If he bids two hearts, I will bid four hearts. Showing a weakish hand with four card support. Of course, not everybody plays it that way, but I'm sitting at this table, so I can just make make it up as I go on, go along. If he bids two spades, I will bid two no trump. Um, and. Indeed, that's what he does. My club stopper could need, could use some help, but so if he bids three spades now, I bid four spades, but he doesn't. So he probably has five, four, five, three, two, two. Sorry. Okay, five, three, three, two. This is the kind of stuff that actually, like, I see the numbers in front of me, 5332, but simply because I stopped play, talking about bridge for such a long time. Okay, I mean, this is, yeah, okay, well, I would definitely have bid three clubs with this hand, just to explain what's going on. Two no trump is not just like, okay, let's play three no trump, it's also just like, kind of a relay bid, so, kind of like, okay, what's going on, partner? What should we play? But okay, uh, there you go. It's not like we would have been much smarter. I would I would have bid three no trump over three clubs, just in case you are wondering what I think of the three no trump bid. And this is it. Sorry, what was it? Six to the ace and then the ten back. So if I take this, they still have the queen and the jack out, so I can duck it once. Okay, this is funny. <sighs> okay, I need to take the ace and uh, play on spades now. Not much else I can do, and I think it's easier if I start right away. No, 
another diamond, yeah, it's definitely not nice. Any chance of a <laughs> heart return? No. This is nasty. Okay, so at least this is better. It's just that one. I have gone down less? I don't think so. Uh, not according to Gib, so we're just gonna assume that Gib is right. Um, yeah, just a sec. Just let me get the lights on. Oh, actually, um, so this is the fourth video out of the five, and the uh, next video will be the last. Probably, actually, I probably don't have that much of a chance anymore. So I have 57 at the moment, uh, but these two weren't exactly great. I don't know, let's see. Mm -hmm. 55.2, okay. But